The Faction Warfare System in Albion Online offers many outstanding rewards. By advancing in Faction Rank, you can unlock the best of these rewards. Keep watching this video to learn more. Anytime you earn faction points, you also improve your standing with your faction. As your standing improves, you can be promoted to higher ranks. At very high faction standing, ranks can degrade if not maintained, so to earn and maintain the highest faction ranks is quite an accomplishment. Whenever your faction flag is enabled, the rank insignia next to your name shows off your skill and dedication for everyone to see. Higher ranks also unlock better rewards at your faction master. For example, at the lowest ranks with the Bridgewatch faction, the only faction crests you can purchase are Adept's crests, which allow you to create tier 4 capes. Once you reach the guard rank, you can begin to purchase Expert's crests for use in making tier 5 capes, and so on. As your rank increases, you also begin to gain increased faction points just for doing the same activities you always do. Loyalty to your faction pays. If you enlist in another faction, you can lose some of your rank and be demoted. The amount of rank you give up when changing factions depends on how eager your new faction is to attract new recruits. Let's talk about faction capes. In addition to the benefits of regular capes, faction capes have unique abilities that make you stronger. Each faction's cape has a different ability, and these abilities improve for higher tiered capes. For example, a Bridgewatch cape can create a sandstorm that slows and weakens enemies. Fort Sterling capes can remove movement impairing and debuff effects from you, so you don't have to stay rooted, slowed, or weakened. When you drop below 40% of your maximum energy, Limmer's capes can restore 8% of your maximum energy per second for 10 seconds. When you take damage while your health is below 25%, Martlock capes grant a buff that increases your defense by 50% for 5 seconds. Thetford capes cause a chain lightning bolt to strike up to 4 nearby enemies when you attack regularly without other abilities. Kirlian capes periodically reset the cooldown on your Q ability so you can use it twice in a row. Your faction master can exchange your faction points for baby animals if your rank is high enough. These animals can be raised on personal islands and crafted into mounts. Tier 5 animals create special faction mounts, and tier 8 animals create elite faction battle mounts. Tier 5 faction mounts include Ridgewatch's Saddled Moabird, Fort Sterling's Saddled Winter Bear, Limhurst's Saddled Wild Boar, Martlock's Saddled Bighorn Ram, Thetford's Saddled Swamp Salamander, and Kerleon's Grey Wolf. Tier 8 Elite Battle Mounts include two unique abilities each. You can ride these mounts and use their Q abilities regardless of your current faction status. But, to use the W abilities to dismount, you must be flagged for the correct faction. Likewise, the area of effect buffs granted by the W abilities can only affect allies who are flagged for your faction. Let's take a look at what these special abilities can do. Bridgewatch's Elite Terror Bird. The Q ability provides two sudden bursts of acceleration and very briefly makes you immune to damage. The W Dismount ability, Desert Breeze, grants nearby allies a bonus to movement speed. Fort Sterling's Elite Winter Bear. The Q ability, Winter Call, increases movement speed by 65% for four seconds. Activating Winter Call slows or roots nearby enemies that have damaged you. The W Dismount ability, Frozen Defense, grants a defensive buff against other players to nearby allies. Limhurst's Elite Wild Boar. The Q ability, Forest Vigor, causes the mount to dash forward, damaging enemies who are on foot. The W Dismount ability, Fearless Rush, generates a large, healing area of effect for your allies. Martlock's Elite Bighorn Ram. The Q ability, called Steadfast, reduces all incoming damage taken while channeling. The ram's movement speed increases at the end of the channel, 
based on the number of hits it took. The W Dismount ability, Mountain Resilience, grants a buff to maximum health for nearby allies. Thetford's Elite Swamp Salamander. The Q ability, Shed Skin, cleanses any negative effects such as slows, roots, and damage over time effects. The W Dismount ability, Reptile Agility, buffs nearby allies' attack speed and damage dealt. Carleon's Elite Grey Wolf. The Q ability, Hunter's Mark, marks your target, which then leaves a scent trail every two seconds. Collecting the trail causes the mount to accelerate up to three times. The W Dismount ability, Spite, creates an area of effect that reflects a portion of all damage taken by members of your party for 15 seconds. Check out these other videos for more information on the Faction Warfare system.